Christmas and have a giggles now. <laughs> it's not going to be good, is it? Hello, good morning and welcome. Welcome to a new episode of Best Biking Roads. And today we're back up in the Derbyshire Peak District and uh, we're by a big plug hole, aren't we? It is a very big plug hole, yeah. yeah. No plug though. No, there's no actual plug in the plug hole, is there? No. But it's a big drop it's down the there, isn't it? in the plug hole. Mm-hmm. And whereabouts are we? We're at Lady Bower Reservoir. Yes, Lady Bower, which is the lowest of the three reservoirs up in the uh, Derwent Valley. And uh, it's here where we're going to start our ride. We're going to go up and over Snake Pass to the Glossop Cafe, where we're going to have breakfast. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to come along with us, it'd be fantastic. We're going to go a little walk across the top of the dam and back to our bikes. I think uh, somebody walked through the wet concrete here, didn't they? they did, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, folks, we bought the drone to try and bring you some drone shots, but the signs for no drone flying, so... So across here to the left, you can just make out, or maybe in the distance there, the, uh, the bridge across, and uh, that's where we're going to go on the bikes. This dam was built, they started building it in um, 1933, and uh, continued building it during the Second World War. I think it was finished in 43, wasn't it? No. 43 and it was filled with water by 45 so uh, quite an effort really considering they were fighting the second world war at the same mm. same time to have produced this and it's not just a thing of purpose it's a thing of beauty as well really yeah they are because the uh, the, the plug hole there and there's another one up the other end there they are the overflow and uh, they come out down there. So when uh, uh, when it's raining a lot and there's wa more water pouring in than can be used as, uh, as drinking water, they come out down there. Who's the guy that uh, did the famous explore of those tunnels down oh, the plug Patrick hole? Patrick Dickinson. Patrick Dickinson. Yeah. So uh, if you get a chance to look at Patrick Dickinson's channel, there's He's a next... bit of a nutter. Oh yeah, but there's an explore of those plug holes. He didn't actually go down through the top. He went down there and walked his way back up to the underneath of the plug hole, didn't he? Mm. Quite a yeah, he does uh... quite a challenging thing, but and probably completely illegal as well. But uh, fun. You can you can see the water. Flow, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, you can see the water coming out to the left. Mm. But when these spillways, you know, the plug holes are open, it's, really it's a real torrent down, of water coming out there. You know where it said no drone flying? It also said no cycling. No cycling. <laughs> <laughs> but cyclists ignore all mm. the rules, don't they? They do. Anyway, shall we catch up with them on the uh, bikes? Yes, we'll head back to the bikes now. And, yes, uh, we'll find our get. bikes, which are that way. So, welcome back. Back on the bikes. Heading across that bridge there and that bridge further up the, uh, up the reservoir. Can you hear me, Carol? I Are can you hear there? you, yes, yes. She's there. And it's now got to half past seven. Been more traffic around now. Mm. Here we go. A57 via Snake Pass. We're heading to Glossop, where the MT-10 will require fuel and uh, so will its owner. And it's called a big breakfast. The reservoir is actually a little bit lower than the last time we came up, isn't it? It looks it about, about a uh, metre lower, I'd say. Yeah, it's about two or three metres below the, uh, the height of the plug holes now. I 
think if you're coming up into the Peak District, this is one of the roads you you do you do need to ride, isn't it? It's a it's a kind of an iconic road. Quite like the way it goes across the sort of moorland at the top. It's quite open. Yeah. It's quite a nice combination, this road, isn't it? Of, of roads through the woods, and then when you get out, it's quite uh, it's quite open at the top, isn't it? Yeah. More landy. The helmet strap isn't pressed you at all. You need to stop. It's annoying me. It's fastened though, isn't it? It's fastened, yeah. Next lay by, pull in. Mm, missed him. That was a big <laughs> curb there. Bad view, actually. Ooh, big hole there. I'm gonna go down there. Yeah, don't put your side stand down there. What's going on there? We'll get a view. Get a picky. Okay. Is why we stopped. <laughs> you happy now? I'm happy now, it's all tucked in, it should be. Right, let's get going before anything big comes. <sighs> Got visions of a slow bus or something coming in. <laughs> we could have just waited 10 minutes if that happened. That's a fabulous bit of road this is. In. Oh, I don't see a pub sign. It is still a pub, Shut. isn't it? I, know, I, I did look and I think it's still a pub, but yeah. Definitely used to have a sign outside, you know, with a snake symbol on it. I don't know. It's like something fast is catching us up. Looks like a TVR or a Porsche. Let him pass. We're out of the tree line now. This guy might be uh, on a bit of a mission. We might want to let him by if he, uh, if he wants to come by. We'll get up here.
No, it's pulled in. No, no worries. Drop back. MT10. A decatted MT10 by the sound of it. Beautiful clear day up here. I was thinking it might be a bit foggy, how foggy it was on the way here. Yeah. It's nice. No, beautiful, absolutely beautiful day. really the end of Snake Pass but we'll show you where the calf is. That's the best quietest run we've had up there actually. It was a really quiet run wasn't it? Mm. I think Saturdays might be better slightly Sundays. quieter than the Sunday mm. morning. Sunday morning is a traditional day all the bikers get out isn't it? But a lot of people work on a Saturday now don't they? It's become a they normal do. working day now. So. Yeah. You know, I don't actually need fuel, which is amazing at the moment. I'm still showing half a tank All right, and well, we'll get a little miles. bit more extra in if we go to the cab yeah. first and do fuel on the way back, won't we? Yeah. But the trouble is that fuel gauge is an absolute liar, isn't it? There's no <laughs> way. There's no way I've got half a tank. No, I've done 80 miles. Because that means I'd, do, I'd be able to do 160 miles, doesn't it? Mm, and there's I just wish. not a chance. <laughs> yeah, if we could do 160 miles, it'd be nice. Quite It'd be per the perfect bike then, wouldn't it? Is it left here? Uh, I think it, it is. Yes. Park at this bottom bit this time instead of trying to work out that. Uh... We park next to that Ford there. Oh. That's it. There's a lot of people here already. Yeah. I have to sit under the canopy. Mm. Want to sit outside? Well, what do you think to the Glossop cafeteria, Carol? It was lovely. Breakfast was just right. I had the fast breakfast and you had the full breakfast. And how much was that? 
Oh, with two nice coffees instead of the standard coffee, it was £13 something for the two breakfasts and coffee. But Bargain, we had, I think. Uh, hosh browns and black pudding as well, didn't we, as extras, so. Ah, right, okay. But yeah, I think if you just have the standard breakfast, I think it, the full breakfast is like £3.95 or something if you just pay for the standard. Really? Yeah, as it comes, yeah. <laughs> so very very cheap but the guy's lovely really friendly and he is he's always a decent chap bloke was looking at me gone out <laughs> clapping at all clapping the cameras <laughs> yeah, well, a bit of a weirdo aren't you the life of a youtuber petrol then right. yes it's what we need and we reversing our route and just going straight back over snake pass we could do couldn't we yes you're going to be trapped there, aren't you? MT10 in its natural habitat. Mm. Took the next half an hour to get out of here. Yep. Nice of him to let me out. Mm. <laughs> You've been sat there a long time if you hadn't done. <laughs> uh, you'd have been over the top before I got out. <laughs> Oh dear, it's just so different isn't it? I mean I know I'm no. not very good at getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning to come out on the motorbikes but, but it makes a difference. Out, it is worth yeah. it. You can get a decent run but mm. now you're just stuck behind the slowest mm. car on the uh, on the pass. Mm. Hi guys, well I've got fuel and we're going to go and do the pass again just because we can. Traffic's a lot worse now, but uh, we're going to enjoy ourselves. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us. The Glossop Cafeteria is well worth calling by. It's a quality, uh, quality stop for breakfast. It's always a surprise that cafe. It doesn't look that much yeah, from the front, does it? But the all, food but is really good, and the really guy's nice. really friendly. So yeah, it's good. Yeah. So hopefully we'll catch you again on our next ride out. Thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. Cheers for now. Bye. Bye. -bye.